Hey guys, we are at Aldi again. We're completely out of like everything, so it's gonna be a pretty big grocery haul. Um, I'm about to get my cart, just put a little quarter in there. You do get your quarter back out at the end. A lot of people were like, why do you have to pay a quarter for your cart? You get it back, that's one of the ways they um, cut prices. Also, yes, I say Aldi, and I've been saying it my whole life like that, so I'm not gonna change it. Um, you can say Aldi like that, or Aldi. It's up to you, YOLO. All right, so I've noticed that most Aldis, as soon as you walk in, have like some to-go drinks and like little snack packs and things like that. And then it usually starts with the produce. So here, I'm kind of pondering for over a minute because I'm trying to find organic produce. A lot of times they will have organic, but I feel like they sell out pretty quickly just because their prices are so amazing. Um, I loved grabbing this big giant bag of garlic just because we use it in so many recipes and it's just easier to just go ahead and grab that. I also got grapes, blueberries, and strawberries, but if you miss anything, don't worry. At the end of this video, I'm going to do a little haul. And I also want to tell you right away that this giant grocery shop, I only spent $130, which is one of the main reasons that I really love Aldi. I always grab their bag salads as well as their spinach for smoothies. I get their butter lettuce and that is my favorite to put into just like lunch salads and things like that. We also just cut this up and use it for the lettuce on our tacos. You will see I get a lot of produce and that's because I have toddlers and we go through produce like crazy in my house. And one of our favorite things are just mangoes. We use it just for snacks, but we also like to make mango salsa. Um, I have a video on my channel for our fresh mango salsa as well. That's a big hit. Also, I want to mention that these little produce bags are from Young Living. The bread here is so inexpensive, it's 67 cents, like you really can't beat that. Um, I also like to grab a lot of snacks here, these little snack packs, this whole giant package was under $5. They're just great for summertime, like on the go, you know, little car rides or beach trips, things like that. I also always get these dried fruit packs because my kids love these, they love the apple and pear the most, um, but they only had apples this time. Over here, I just grabbed some fresh diced salsa. Um, they had an organic version, so when they do have organic, I do choose that. We're not like 100% organic in any way, but when there's a healthier organic option, I like to grab that, especially because this was only like 20 cents more. Speaking of non-organic, I grabbed two Bob Evans mashed potatoes. Um, we like those for my easy shepherd's pie. Um, a lot of you know that recipe. And I also just grabbed some of these tortellinis to throw in with some sauce. The kids love that. Those little Toy Story Danimals were a hit at Carter's birthday party. And then this was a new find for us. This was a Greek yogurt uh, cream cheese spread. And this is just for me. Nobody else will eat it in my house because they like the Philadelphia cream cheese, but I love it because it has more protein and it's made with Greek yogurt. And I've had the salmon here multiple times and it's always been delicious. We've never had a problem with the salmon and it's for a great price. We're also going to go ahead and grab um, a couple packets of chicken thighs and you can stay tuned until the end of this video and I will show you what I made with them in the crock pot. And we also just picked up some ground turkey. The next thing I grabbed was this uncured bacon. I've never used this bacon before. I usually get um, their like, I think it's called like Light and Fit or something like that, their brand of turkey bacon until I realized that it says like mechanically separated on the back and then that's when I stopped buying it. Uh, now I'm just grabbing some shredded cheese. We're getting Mexican cheese and mozzarella cheese. We always have these on stock. I got plain Greek yogurt for overnight oats and then I got cottage cheese for my protein pancakes. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some milk and eggs.
Next, I'm going to check out the like frozen aisle. Um, I think the only thing I got from this section was these veggie burgers. I've had them before and they're really good. Random, but I saw this on the side, this Toy Story 4 cereal. I did not purchase it though. Um, we got some brown rice. And we also got some corn tortillas. And of course we have to stock up on juice. Um, I have to beg my kids to drink regular water so I just put a little bit of apple juice in their water cups and that's how they drink their drinks. So it's like a quarter of apple juice and all the rest water but otherwise they don't usually drink water. One of the reasons I fell in love with Aldi was because of their huge gluten-free selection. Um, I was really disappointed today, I'm not gonna lie. This is not my normal Aldi. Um, but they didn't have any bread or any bagels, so that was a big bummer because now I have to go to a different store to get bagels and bread. But we did pick up some of their gluten-free macaroni and cheese, and if you have never had these chips, you have to have them. They are the best. They are the gluten-free sweet chili chips. The baby section here is pretty awesome too. I grab a lot of yogurt melts because they get sold out really quickly and my kids eat like one bag per sitting and they are the cheapest here. They're almost like $3 at our regular grocery store. And I also really like their pouches. I know a lot of people have said things about Aldi pouches that like, I think there was like one article that show, showed uh, mold in them, but these pouches are see-through. Um, don't worry, I picked it up off the floor. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Aldi is like the two random aisles they always have of really super random stuff. I found tons of great things in these aisles before. They always have like some good candles, some home decor that's super affordable. I've even gotten organizers from here, um, pool things for the kids, like outdoor activities for them, uh, tubware, cupcake tins. I've gotten so many really cool things here for really inexpensive but I'll show you all of the things that they had that I thought were really cute. I love these little galvanized tins. I did not buy any of them, but I think they would be really cute for home decor. A slushy maker. I also really wanted to buy this. And of course I wanted to buy this. This is like an iced coffee brewing system. Yes, please give me all of the coffee. Even had an ice maker. I did grab this because I really need one of these. They're like little clip-on strainers. I like the little potato peeler, potato scrubber. Um, what else did they have that I really thought was cute? They did have some like Toy Story 4 things here as well, um, but we just had Carter's birthday party so we didn't need any of that stuff. I thought this tumbler was really good, but also really don't need that as well. And then like some iHome speakers and just honestly like the most random but coolest things.
I thought this beach towel was adorable, but I refrained. I wanted the donut and um, the little watermelon. The pool is perfect for young kids, but we already have one. Uh, tons of little floats and cute things like that here. There were sprinklers and uh, slip and slides. They even had these UV shirts, which are great for your kiddos. And now it's time to check out, which always gives me anxiety because they are so fast ringing you up that it's crazy. There's usually only one person working the register too, so it just makes me extra anxious, but it's all worth it because to get all of these items for $130 is like incredible. When I go to my regular grocery store, I spend at least $200. I also wanted to mention that I did get a case of water. Um, we are not using our water filtration system right now just because um, they've been doing like work on our water in our neighborhood and I seriously just don't trust it and it freaks me out. Seriously, that was the fastest shop I've ever done because I have to pick up Carter from uh, Vacation Bible School. But look at this guy, see? What guy here? Stick it in, that's what she said. Get your quarter back. And here is just a little overview of everything that we got in case you missed it. Like I had mentioned, we were in a really big rush because we had to get my son Carter from preschool. Um, so I feel like I might have missed telling you about some of the items that I got. But again, I feel like this was all a really great deal. And here is just a super easy chicken taco crock pot meal. Literally put some chicken thighs in, some salsa, and a packet of taco seasoning. And that is it. Four hours on high or eight hours on low, and it is delicious. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If you thumbs up it, I know that you want to see more videos like this, and I will totally make them for you. Also, check us out on Instagram at t.beaston.